In earlier chapters, we talked about the advantages of using the pre-made render work styles that come with the program. But to take advantage of many more rendering possibilities, we can get into the underlying settings and then make the kinds of adjustments that can help us render more quickly, more creatively, or more realistically. We can save these adjustments as render work styles and then use them with other projects. These styles are Vectorworks resources, so we can access and share them through the Resource Manager. There are a couple of different ways to create render work styles. The first method involves three simple steps. First, go into the Custom RenderWorks options and then set the Rendering and Lighting settings or go into the Artistic RenderWorks options and adjust those settings. Then, render the model in Custom RenderWorks or Artistic RenderWorks and adjust the settings if necessary. And then once everything is set the way you like, go to the Resource Manager and create a new RenderWorks style. The new style will have the exact settings that were just created. With this method, it's really important that we render the scene in custom or artistic render works first before we create a new render work style, otherwise the settings can't be saved. Another way to create a render work style is to go to the resource manager directly and then create a new render work style right from the resource manager. When the edit render work style window opens, we can select the settings we like and then give the style a name. Now with both methods, the Edit Render Work Style window is where we adjust the settings. So let's take a look at those settings and see what they can do. At the very top, of course, is where we can enter a new name for the style. Beneath it is a drop-down box where we can choose between realistic and artistic styles. First, let's choose realistic and take a look at the five tabs along the top. Under the Options tab, we find 10 options, some of which we covered earlier when we discussed custom render works. All the options are pretty self-explanatory and described in detail in Vectorworks Help. Any checkbox we select activates that option in the rendering. So, for example, if a scene contains colored 3D objects, leaving the Colors option unchecked will cause the colored objects to appear without color or white. Next are quality settings. The quality settings let us control the level of quality in a variety of image quality categories. Generally speaking, the higher the quality level, the longer the rendering time. To shorten the rendering times, but still maintain a level of image quality that's suitable for what we need, we can set certain items to a high setting and keep others at a low or medium setting. We just need to experiment a bit to see which settings are best for the specific rendering we're making. For example, we may prefer to have the curved geometry setting at high to make sure curved objects are shown smoothly, but the rest of the setting set to low. This also was covered in an earlier discussion of custom renderworks and is described in detail in Vectorworks Help as well. The next tab is Lighting, and the Lighting tab gives us the same controls we find under the Set Lighting Options command. To activate the controls, we need to select the Apply Lighting Options checkbox, and most of these controls were discussed earlier in Chapter 24, so make sure to review that chapter as well as the Vectorworks help on this topic. The next tab is Edges. Edges is a unique feature of RenderWorks styles that allows artistic RenderWorks edges to be superimposed on realistic RenderWorks renderings. To activate this feature, we need to select the Apply Artistic Edges checkbox, and the three settings beneath the preview window allow us to select a style first, and then adjust the line thickness and color. We can see the result of our changes in the preview window. The last tab is Background, and to activate this feature, as in the other features, we click on the Apply RenderWorks Background checkbox, and then we can click on the RenderWorks Background drop-down box to select a RenderWorks Background for this particular layer or viewport. And this choice will override any layer backgrounds that are already in place. The Environment Reflections drop-down box lets us select a different RenderWorks Background to be seen in reflective surfaces within the scene, such as mirrors and glass windows, so that you can have one background for the overall scene but the reflective surfaces within the scene can show a different 
background. So these are the options available for realistic render work styles and now let's take a look at the options for artistic styles. Near the top of the edit render work style window click on the type drop down box and select artistic. And the artistic style tab provides access to three settings. Select a style first and then adjust the line thickness and the color and we can see the result of these changes in the preview window as soon as we make them. The background tab lets us select a RenderWorks background for the layer or the viewport but remember that the apply RenderWorks background check box must be selected first for this to go into effect. Whether we're creating a realistic RenderWorks style or an artistic one the final step is to click OK. The new RenderWorks style immediately appears in the resource manager and since it's a Vectorworks resource, it can be shared with other files as well. So those are the types of render work styles we can create, realistic and artistic, with some alterations that let us combine some artistic features with realistic. This chapter's file includes a few sample render work styles we've created. Take a look at them, open them up in the resource manager by right-clicking on a style and then selecting edit. And don't hesitate to change individual settings in those samples and then rendering the scene to see the results.